What if I told you by simply split testing the main image on Amazon, you could potentially double your results? It's not magic, it's strategic A-B testing. So whether you have recently launched or you've been on Amazon for a while and you're, you're doing good, or maybe even sales have stagnated or even declined, this is something you should do right away. Just by split testing this main image, it can have incredible results. On Amazon, you see you're going to get millions of eyeballs and even a little bit improvement in click-through rate can have a huge result. So in this guide, I'm gonna go over step-by-step -step what we did to almost double product sales. So the main image is critical on Amazon because shoppers see only these four things. The main image, the price, the reviews, and the title. And shoppers are skimming really fast. So the main image is absolutely critical. Simply put, if you don't split test your main images, you're leaving lots of money on the table. What makes a good main image clearly shows what it is, highlights unique features, and it's high quality. And or shows potentially bundled items with it. And in some way, think about how to make yours different on page one, okay? So here's some examples using supplements as an example of how to make some alternate main images. So image A is just your current main image. Image B, just make the product bigger. Make sure it fills up the whole space. Image C, for example, show the gummies and or capsules next to the bottle. Very common thing. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. Next, this involves editing the bottle image, which we'll get to in a sec but make the key information large. For example, the servings, the capsules, and the milligrams per serving. And then E, which we'll get into in a sec, is put the actual box of the product in the main image. This is a big hack that you can use to show more information and or words in the main image. We'll get to that in a second how to set up the A-B test. So you're gonna click here in Seller Central, go to Manage Experiments. Then you're going to click on Create New Experiments for Product Images. Select this ASIN. Now you're going to want to uncheck Experiment with Supporting Images. And then I'm going to select only the child that I want to test. Grab your alternate main image. You have to upload it here and also upload it here. Okay, so it's testing just this one child ASIN, version A, version B, then click schedule experiment up here. Okay, now by default, it automatically schedules it with the default settings. So click on edit. And then what I want to do is I want to go duration and I want to set the duration to just four weeks. By default, it will go to significance. So that depends how long it goes for until it's statistically significant. And then make sure that start experiment soon, sooner if possible is checked and automatically publish the winning version is checked. In terms of the start date, it's automatically gonna choose the soonest start date, which is about 10 days into the future as of right now. Okay, cool, submit changes, and that should be approved soon. That's how you set it up.
Okay, I just went for that. And then basically just wait for the results, analyze. So I like setting it at four weeks hard so then I know when it's gonna be done. So set a reminder and come, come back, analyze the results. Basically, whatever one, whatever main image one, keep that one and test it versus the next one and then repeat and then repeat and enjoy improved results. How many main images should I test, Riley? Well, it depends. I say at least three, but depending on how creative you are and how all out you wanna go, you can test five, you can test 10. If you have a bunch of main image ideas, might as well test them all. It takes five minutes to set this up. Here's how to analyze the results. So when an experiment is done, it shows you this data chart. The key metric to look for is units sold from search. That means you got more clicks in the search, meaning a higher click, click through rate CTR. Now for some reason, Amazon does not show click through rate specifically. It appears they're only measuring conversion data. I certainly hope they come out with click through rate data. If you want to specifically test click through rate, you have to do that manually, which is hard. But anyways, here's the data that they are showing. They are showing conversion, units sold, units sold from search, total sales example. Here's an explanation of what all those mean. All right, let's get into optimizing the packaging for potential higher clicks. Basically, we're trying to make sure on the main image, the key info is as big and easily understandable and as glanceable as possible. So here's step one, using supplements as the example. Get a 3D rendering done because one, it's editable. You wanna be able to split test actually what the bottle is showing on the main image. And then number two, often they look better than real photos. So next you're gonna to wanna to determine the key info. All right, is it just the milligrams, serving size and count slash servings per bottle? Or are there also other unique feeder features or ingredients or benefits that they're gonna get? Think about that and make that clear at a glance, okay? Here's an example of just making the key info bigger, which is this guy, it's a 2000 milligram per serving capsule, um, which is probably more than the average. So they made that very big and these guys are crushing it. Don't worry if the physical bottle is not exactly what's on the main image, it's fine. Here are some main image inspo slash ideas. Okay, these guys used advanced weight loss as a little call out bubble. You see how they did that? They literally just added a bubble and put advanced weight loss in large for the purpose of the main image to hammer home. This has to do with that. Yeah, these guys showed an apple next to it just to show the flavor. Don't like this main image, but it's just an example. These guys have, boom, huge red box next to the huge red bottle. These guys use a clear translucent bottle so you can see the gummies inside here's an example this is actually a client of ours big box that says women's health here's an example there <laughs> this is the tackiest bottle image ever but you can see clearly the key numbers these guys huge box small bottle these guys showing the uh, the capsules next to the bottle. These guys show the powder next to the bottle. These guys have a picture of the herb slash ingredient. And I put a good example on the left and a bad example on the right. As you can see, this blue box is poorly lit, does not look good. This bottle is an example of a square bottle which takes up the full image. I think it looks good. Case study. So here's another one. This is a client of ours. And just by the main image, it's hard to see how big it is. And so we added 
1.5 pounds, 20 servings value pack right there onto the main image of the packaging and it increased click-through rate. Now, we tested click-through rate manually, so it's not, an, it's not a perfect experiment, but you get the point. Make sure the key information is there large on the packaging on the main image. Another one. Now this is actually my product. All right, so we had this uh, magnetic or MagSafe sticky wallet, and it always just had a white iPhone case. And then the a this A-B testing feature came out, and I was like, you know what? Why do we never test a different color of the iPhone? Okay, boom, set this up. Looking at the results. Wow, 89% probability that version B is better. Conversion went from 0.9 to 0.117. Units sold 88 to 108. Wow, five minutes got me an increase in sales. But I was almost going to stop there until I realized if orange is better than white, like I wonder if there's another color that's better. Boom, let's test it versus a very different color. So we tested blue. Boom, 97% probability that blue is better. Now this one tested for a shorter period but units sold went from 21 to 38, conversion went to nine to 17, so almost doubled. And if you just look at it, but here's actually the, the tricky reason is this color iPhone slash case is more common than people have this, amongst other weird reasons. So my point is you never know which color combination, which thing, which creative idea could result in more clicks and potentially almost double sales. It's crazy. So to be eligible, you must have sufficient traffic and be brand registered. Here are some tips and tricks. Think about how to stand out from the competition. Make sure that the images you're testing are clearly different. Use a creative expert that knows Amazon, okay? This whole main image strategy is, is a whole wormhole in itself. I could talk for a long time in terms of creative ideas. Every product is its own universe, so we don't have time to get into too many examples. But long story short, have someone make your main images that knows what they're doing. Test in four weeks blocks, test one ASIN at a time, and run these once a year. You never know, and test at least three. Conclusion, the main image is a very important piece success to success on Amazon. Testing them is a no-brainer way to maximize results. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Perfect main image takes some creative thinking. All right, just for fun, let's analyze some main images. I just asked ChatGPT to give me a random product. Let's say, okay, biodegradable sponge. Now, when there's multi-packs, of course, you want to make it clear how many are in the multi-pack. Let's look at this, the top sellers. This guy, it shows it in the hand so you can see how big it is. That's a good idea there. It shows the box, shows how many are in there. Okay, great main image. Don't know how I feel about that. This one shows them all stacked up. The common thing is obviously it's gonna show how many are in the box, okay? That's the obvious thing. It's showing the box, the size, everything in there. Okay, you can just kinda of see the different types of main images. Now, which one do you think is best? The answer is nobody knows until you test. So my point with this little random example here is there's no one best main image for any type of product. We don't know until we do the A-B test and Amazon's new scientific A-B testing feature is an amazing tool. It's, it's an, it makes so much sense.
with YouTube, YouTube recently rolled out A-B testing built in. The world of thumbnails on YouTube and A-B testing them is a whole course in itself. With Amazon, your products are gonna get millions and millions of views. So it's about time Amazon came out with A-B testing main images. It's very, very important. If you haven't done it yet, something I recommend doing ASAP. It can potentially revive slow sales and or pick up sales for an existing good product. All right, if you found that val valuable, a like is appreciated. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I have another tutorial you can watch on my YouTube channel by clicking right here.